hello thanks so much for stopping by the channel i'm going to compile all of the random glitches we've been testing on streams into one video very easy simple outfit glitches for the male and the female just to give you guys an example of other cool things you can do or things that i maybe missed through all of my inactivity in 2020. so we're going to start with a no bra glitch for the female character if you've been around for a while you know there are two methods to do this currently you go to the business skirts or outfits in your clothing store counter purchase the nine to five and then you can go change to any open jacket you can also use the heist coverall method to get no bra underneath of jackets but the method i'm going to be showing you here you can do very simply and very easily with joggers or any other other top so you don't lose your whole outfit when doing either of those and to do that you need to purchase an overcoat you want to open that overcoat through your interaction menu Go back down to overcoat blazers and put on any of these overcoat blazers. Then you want to head back up to the Arena Wars top section. Go to apocalyptic and put on any of the Arena Wars feather tops. Once you have that on, you're just going to back out of the section. Go to an, any open jacket that you want it to put together with your outfit. So denim jackets, smart jackets, work jackets. You've got a lot of different options. Just keep scrolling. And there you go, no bra underneath of this top. Very easy, very simple. The next glitch is a logo glitch of sorts. We're gonna go into the outfit section um, and we're going to go under the biker section. So the top and the bottom options in that section, I think on male and female, give you a biker cut or a biker jacket. You can put on that outfit, go into your closet, hover over any designer top or any other top that has a removable um, logo like some of the special tops and whatnot hover over that and then you'll see that that glitch appears the logo appears over top of the biker cut and you still have the shirt as well so this is a really easy glitch it's an older one i know i probably posted it a long time ago but i was recently helping some of my instagram followers with it so i wanted to bring it back to you guys since we tested it so the next glitch is going to be a glitch to remove the top from literally any outfit that you can purchase at the clothing store counter, which you know you cannot normally change those. You will need to obviously purchase one of those bodysuits and you'll need to have the arcade tops or at least some arcade tops unlocked in the clothing store section and purchased. Once you have your desired outfit selected and you have that arcade top purchased, you want to go into a closet go under special tops hover over all of your arcade tops scroll down until you get back to the top one and you'll see that it now will glitch over those pants for the suit and you can save this outfit you can't change a lot about this outfit depending on which item you select or which outfit you select so for example if you select this arena wars outfit um this character outfit you can change the gloves you can add armor you can do hat and mask glitch on the bike or with the telescope you can add duffel bags you can add rebreathers but you really can't change any other accessories with this outfit keep in mind that this this glitch is exactly the same as if you were doing um, one of the special top hoodies with these outfits so keep that in mind you're not literally just stuck to this arcade top you can also use special top hoodies but it will require you to have them unlocked and I know not everybody does. So this is just gonna give you one example of a little outfit that I had put together using this glitch. I will leave um, a link in the description for where I found this or where I seen this glitch for the first time on Reddit. I was just browsing one day and, and it popped up for me. Again, I was absent <laughs> a lot in 2020 and even 2019 so I missed out on a lot, so I'm just trying to bring it back around and show you guys things that are new to me. So the next outfit I'll show you, we're going to do or use this same exact glitch. Um, I just want to show you a couple of different ways you can change it. So I'm going to put on one of the cat suits, go to the closet, go back into special tops and arcade tops, scroll all the way down until I'm back to that top shirt. And then the cool thing with the cat suit outfits is you can actually change the shoes on them so you're not stuck with the cat suit shoes. This is a really, honestly, a really nice um, looking outfit. It just happens to match in that way. You can also, with this outfit, add gloves. You can add accessories to this um, as far as the cuffs or the watches are concerned. 
I was not able to add neckwear with this without the pants glitching away, so keep that in mind. You can also, of course, add a hat or a mask. You can add duffel bags, armor, uh, parachutes, really whatever else you want to kind of jazz this outfit up. But this was, I think, my favorite of the three that I'm going to be showing you. So for the next one, we are going to use a scuba suit. And I'll show you a glitch that I know I've showed you recently, but we're just going to put it together with this combination of glitching. So you literally just want to put on the scuba suit, go back to your closet, go back into your special tops, arcade tops, or even the hoodies, as you can see me scrolling through here. And you want to put on that arcade top again. You can save the outfit when you do this. And then I'm going to show you a way to turn those scuba shoes or turn any scuba shoes into flippers without doing components, um, really without doing any other kind of glitch. So even if you've maybe done a component transfer glitch and you put scuba shoes on the outfit, but you really wanted them to be um, flippers, or even if you want it to merge flippers onto your outfit, if you're using a component transfer, this will be kind of a, a tip or a trick on how to turn literally any scuba shoes into flippers if they don't have components. So you want to save your outfit and then you want to head to a body of water. It can literally be any body of water that's deep enough for you to equip the scuba gear. Once you do put on the scuba gear, you just want to go into your interaction menu, just change a couple of things for a couple of seconds. I usually just do my player mood. And then without closing the interaction menu, you just want to find a new session. So once you load back in, you'll see that you have your flippers. You will have a little glitchy top underneath, so it adds to this outfit as well. You can take off the ugly mask or change the way your face looks just by adding or removing a rebreather, and it'll be totally fine. You can make a couple of changes to this outfit again um, with the gloves. You can add or remove armor, add or remove hat or mask. You can even do um, the flight tube glitch for these outfits. You can do parachutes and duffel bags. And I believe if you go to the accessory section for the scuba suit pants, you can also change the cuffs just like you could with the cat suit pants. So the last glitch I'm going to be showing you here is it works for the male and female character, but it honestly looks a lot better on male. So you just want to put on the flight suit caps. You can purchase at the mask store in the hat section on an outfit and then save that outfit. And then you want to select any other hat that you want to glitch together with that flight suit cap. And so all you need to do is just make sure you have it purchased. You're going to run at the telescope, hold right on your D-pad until you stop and not look through it. That makes you glitch, you know, glitch out at the telescope. You'll know you did it right when your mask or sorry, your hat is removed. You then want to open up your interaction menu, go to style accessories, and then just scroll over your hats and your helmets until you find the one that you want it to glitch together with the flight suit cap. So some of them look better than others. As you can see here with the bulletproof helmet, doesn't look that great, but you do get the little sides there on it. I'll show you one that it looks really great with because the goggles actually look like they're on the, the beanie or the backwards cap. And so do the same thing, right on your D-pad until you stop and not look through it, you'll glitch out. Go to the hat section again, and you can select a backwards cap here. We'll select a black one. When you back out of the menu and walk away, you'll notice that it looks like you have goggles now glitched onto the backwards cap. This looks a little better with longer hair because you can, can't really see the sides of the cap, but this is a really old glitch. I haven't seen many people using it, and I wondered if it still worked. Again, it works on female too, but it just looks a lot better on male. So I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and learning and teaching me new things during our streams. I hope that you found some of this information useful and that you'll be able to use it to create some outfits that are just glitched or simply glitched or it can even help you create better outfits using components. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon in the next one.